Howard Monroe is also in Old City tonight. And Howard, you just got your hands on some excerpts from the president's speech. So what is he going to say? Jessica, we did just get those excerpts from the White House. Now, some of those invited guests they have already been allowed inside. We can also hear some music playing inside of the event here at Independence Hall. Now, as for those excerpts, one of the experts, it reads, So tonight I have come here to the place where it all began to speak plainly to the nation about the threats that we face, about the power we have in our own hands to meet those threats, and about the incredible future that lies in front of us if only we choose it. Now, the reason why this location was chosen was because of its history, and many of the people who live in this neighborhood are happy to welcome the president. I'm very excited. It's not that a president's haven't been here before, but it's 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 a privilege. Anticipation was building as crews were building President Biden's stage. I think it's very exciting to be in this beautiful city that's so historic and to bring a modern element into it now. The speech has been coined as being the continued battle for the soul of the nation. While we're told it will focus on the opportunities and possibilities moving forward, it will also cover topics the president sees are threatening the democracy. Most notably, according to senior White House officials, are extremism, violence, and attacks on free and fair elections. We asked people at Independence Hall what issues they'd like the president to cover. The main thing is to stop this gun violence. Yeah, that's I would I would love to see that, you know, the gun violence. And he's saying that he's gonna ban firearms, you know, you know, assault weapons and what have you. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I think we the people uh, have to pay better attention, not get caught up left and right stuff. While the speech is getting a lot of attention, we're told the president has been planning this speech for a while and it will not be focused on the news of the day. But White House officials say that it will kick off the president's campaign season ahead of the midterm elections. Albert Eisenberg, a local conservative political consultant, says that he will be watching Pennsylvania's Senate election closely. The stakes that people make out of these races, it can really contribute to um, Way too much aggression and energy, but I, I mean, I'm certainly hoping Republicans hold this seat. Now, it's important to note that this speech is by invitation only. We noticed some onlookers coming by. However, they are being kept at bay by many of the barricades that are now surrounding Independence Hall. So, just so you know that if you come by the area. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Good heads up, Howard. Thank you for that. We